almost too much. You know, you remember the story of Jonah and his gourd vine? I could sympathize with him at that point in time. Anyway, I told everybody else, I said, look, just find you a shade somewhere and eat your lunches. And, uh, and I'll try to fix the fan. So I just sat down. Any of you been there to the garden tomb? Okay. You know where the little chapel is around the corner? I was sitting right flat on the ground in front of that chapel. And you know there's a set of steps that come up to a sidewalk and goes out to the main sidewalk. Anyway, I was sitting down there working on this fan. Didn't even bother to unplug it. And a voice said to me, he said, God bless you. in what you're doing here. He was at the top of those stairs. And he walked right back that little short sidewalk, took a right at that big pine tree, and headed for the front gate. Well, this doctor of all people was the only one in earshot. And he was back under some shrubs in the shade eating his lunch, and he piped up and he says, Ron, do you suppose we've been talking with an angel? And I said, at least. Well, I worked with great enthusiasm for the rest of that day. When we left the garden tomb, I asked the ladies in there, I said, what did you think of that big tall man dressed in ancient Jewish garb? And they looked at me kind of funny. And they said, there's been nobody in there here like that today. And then one of them said, well, Mr. Wyatt, there's never been anybody in here like that. So somewhere between where he turned right past that pine tree and before he got to the office, he went on to the New Jerusalem. Now, folks for Christ himself to come down to encourage me about the excavation of the Ark of the Covenant tells me that it's very important to God.